Croatia is not participating in the mission because Milanovic, who has conflicted with the Croatian government since the start of his mandate, was against it. One of his functions is as supreme commander of the armed forces, which he used to stop sending Croatian soldiers to train Ukrainian soldiers. Bonozic said representatives of the U.S. company Bay Systems, manufacturer of Bradley armored vehicles, were also present at the meeting and announced that next month an agreement would be signed for vehicles that the U.S. will donate to Croatia. The American company is ready to give Juro Jakovic a chance, and I expect that the contract will be signed next month, said Bonozic, adding that the company from Slavonsky Broad will become a regional hub for the maintenance of these vehicles. NATO has recognized the quality of the Croatian defense industry by inviting the company Juro Jakovic, which has many years of experience in maintaining systems of older products such as tanks, as well as newer systems such as Patria vehicles, and soon the Bradley infantry fighting vehicles that Croatia is acquiring, said Bonozic.